We're going to kind of talk about, at this point, um, overhead issues. And I know and when we went through this morning, uh, that, and yesterday when Bob was going through what people want to see or hear, I heard a lot of you say, I want to hear about overhead issues. Well, before we get into overhead issues, I want to show you something. And this is why what, what I've got, and Bob mentioned, and he's going to get into this a little bit more depth later, talking about kind of new SMA benchmarks. But we'll talk a little bit about numbers here. And the point that I really want to focus on on this, let's see, this is the, yeah, is it, yeah here it is. Okay. If you notice this big area here, okay, 74% of our cost structure is sitting in direct construction costs for production builders. That's land, and that is direct six and bricks. Um, for those of you, basically, what we look at is, when we look at numbers, we look at it on a management accounting basis. And on a management accounting basis, direct construction cost, sticks and bricks, is just the pure hard cost. We don't include commissions in there. We don't include interest in there. We don't include financing expenses. They're all uh, uh, commissions. They're all in these other numbers. We've been focusing the last day. Yes? Okay, this actually, this is in the, okay, it's in the green section. These charts are not included. I will make sure to get you guys copies of this chart after, these charts afterwards. I put these charts together pretty much after we did the book. But the green section of the book called Cost Control Strategies for Profitable 2008 and Beyond. Actually, if you want, these numbers, if you go to the white section, the last section after this, the last section of the book, the start of the white section, the first page, is where these benchmarks come from. And as I say, Bob will be going through these benchmarks uh, later today in more depth. I wanted to just kind of use this as a way to kick off the, the piece on overhead. But as we said earlier, this 74% is the biggest chunk. And hopefully over the last day, we've kind of given you some ideas on really how to focus on keeping those direct construction costs under control. But let's look at some of the other stuff. What we believe is we still believe, even in the market being down today, that we can get a 10% net profit. And in order to do that, we're kind of looking at benchmarks for a production builder spending about 3.5% of sales in indirects, somewhere about between 5 and 6 or 5.5% of sales in, for sales expenses. And again, a lot of that is being smart, being, being smart. In sales and marketing, as Mike was talking about this morning, I think one of the biggest things that I see with sales and marketing operations today is we've got to be different. We've got to think out of the box. Sometimes the old school stuff that used to work doesn't work. So we've got to be smarter. When we talk about some operating expenses, I'll give you some, some thoughts that I've come up with on the sales and marketing side of things. Financing expenses, about two and a half. I've seen that number going up a little bit, again, because of some of the interest carry we have that we have we're dealing with. Now, lot interest, by the way, if, if you are in a situation where you're stuck with a lot of land, we look at lot interest as part of the cost of the lot and not included in this financing expense number. So this is actually interest on construction period interest and interest on finished inventory. We're also taking a look at general administrative or operating expenses somewhere around about a, around 4%, 4 to 5%. Bob's going to get into this a little bit more in depth later as far as the numbers. From a custom point of view, same thing. We believe custom builders can be ending up with a net of 10%. Uh, there, in order to do that, direct construction costs, we need to get down about 75%. And I think some of the things that we've talked about over the last um, day or so has been, you know, a lot of it is, okay, you know what, we can do it on a standard set of plans, but there's a lot of things that we can do as custom builders to learn from the production environment when it comes to a lot of the value engineering stuff and looking at plans differently. Uh, and directing our clients to be able to build something that's efficient to build so we can control our costs. Now, one of the things that here, I was talking to Bob a little bit earlier about these numbers, we've thrown in uh, about 3.75% for owner's comp. Now, depending upon the size of your firm, whether you're custom, semi-custom, and what you are doing as an owner, Sometimes that comp will go into some of these categories. So if you are a superintendent, I've got indirect to 2%. If you're a superintendent, as the owner, part of your 3.75% of owner's comp pretty much is a superintendent's function from that regard. 
So when we try to give you some benchmarks, it just, again, it gives you some rule of thumb to start taking a look at where we can spend money. And we'll look at, again, we're going to go in and look at these operating expenses and try to give you some tools and some techniques that you may be able to do to control it. But again, the biggest area and the reason where we're spending less time on operating expenses and more time on cost expenses is, is right here. Your biggest chunk is here. And if you can go ahead and reduce your direct construction costs 1%, take 1% of your sales. Okay, and it'll, I mean, we've got sales volume in here anywhere from uh, four homes to uh, 500 homes. If you can reduce or control your direct cost by 1%, that's going to put an awful lot to the bottom line as far as dollars. And it's going to take an awful lot of overhead cuts in order to make that up. And that's why we've been focusing a lot on this. So let's now move, though. Let's look at something else. Here's one of the, th one of the things we started doing is we take in the financial data of SMA clients. And again, this is not in here. I'll make sure that you guys get copies of this afterwards. This is just something I finished up after we were done. But what we're starting to do internally is to take the financial data that we get from all of our SMA clients that are part of our CFO program or our uh, operations management program, in which we look at the numbers on a monthly basis. And quarterly, we start, uh, we're going to start taking a look at trends. We want to start seeing, and I've got, over, I've got about 55 builders in this database here that I'm comparing apples to apples comparison. And what we're going to start doing is actually looking at this on a quarterly basis. We're going to now, we did July, um, was, we just started in July. I'm now going to start crunching the numbers for September. Uh, those of you um, that are part of our Inner Circle program, I'm going to start getting on to 